Well, in my past project, I've used this tool many times to help identify how the sales campaign performed from last year to this year's exact same month. And in the process, we found some pretty interesting results. If you like to use the same chart, here is how you can create your very own. Like all the other good charts, you'll need helper columns. This helper column helps identify positive growth in sales. We'll use the max function with first argument being the difference between 2025 and 2024 sales. If the difference is greater than zero, the difference is returned. And this one is for loss in sales. The formula looks exactly the same except that we are calculating the difference between 2024 and 2025 sales. And this column here is used to identify which year's sales is the greatest value within the two years for the exact same month. We will be requiring two columns of the same value and we'll be using this to draw our error bar. I know, I know, there's lots of questions about this two redundant column. Just hold on to the thought. All right, now, shall we draw our chart now? Select the month, 2024, 2025, max one and max two, and then Alt F1 to draw a clustered bar chart. Now resize and reposition a bar chart. Right click on your chart and select data from the context menu. Uncheck max one and max two and click on OK. Now to overlap the clustered bar charts, select 2025 series, control one on your keyboard, and then make sure you are on the series option and you go series overlap set to 25, gap width set to 100% and hit enter. And now to draw the error bars for 2024, go to chart element, enable error bars and select 2024 error bar on your chart and press control one to open this pop-up if it's closed. Now on the direction set to plus, end cap to no cap, and then select custom and click on specify value. When this pop-up comes up on this positive error value, you're going to select the div plus column like this and press enter twice on your keyboard. Now we're going to do the same thing for error bar for 2025. Select 2025 error bar on your chart and then set the direction to plus and cap to no cap. Custom, click on specify value. On the positive error value, you're going to select the difference minus column like this and press enter twice on your keyboard. Now to format the div plus error bar, select the div plus error bar like this one here and press control one on the keyboard. In here on lines and field, you're going to select solid green line here like this and the dash type, you're going to say dash and the end arrow, we're going to say arrow like this. For the div negative, select the div negative error bar like this here and press control one if this pop-up is closed. Then we're going to make it in a solid line. But this time around, since it's going down, we're going to color it as red and the dash type will be dash and the begin arrow will set to arrow. And then job complete.